I must meet a self-experimenter who has embraced the most likely way to greatly extend his life. I know we are a similar age and I want to find out how close. But the thing which really interests me is I want to know, does he look younger than me? Does he look and act younger than me? If so, that would be... Uh, I'm quite competitive like that, you know. For the last 20 years, Dave Fisher has been on a severely restricted diet of just 1,600 calories a day. He's the world's longest adherent to a practice called calorie restriction. Hello. Hi, Hello, very nice to see you. First impressions, very useful, I have to say. Oh, thank you. Very useful. <laughs> Can I just look at your face? Oh, me? I thought you meant the house. No, I think you. <laughs> Go, very good. Yes, I'm very struck. Thank you're, you. Thank you. You're looking good. I don't normally say this to blokes, so, <laughs> but yeah. um, I know you're pretty much the same age as me. Um, oh, I, believe, I believe so, yeah. yeah. When's your birthday? April 16th, 57. Um, right, and I'm 22nd of March, 57. Right, so very close. So you are actually a month younger than me. Research on a range of animals has shown that a vitamin-rich but calorie-poor diet can greatly increase lifespan, but it's yet to be proven in humans. Dave is one of a small band of intrepid pioneers. At 51, he certainly looks good on the outside, but I wanted to know what was going on inside. A series of tests would compare our bodies and determine who was biologically younger. A bod pod measures how much of the body is composed of fat. This could be embarrassing. measurement showed that your percentage body fat is 21.3 percent in the excess oh, fat category. So it's not good? No. All oh, right, illusion there. Dave, um, your percentage, total percentage body fat um, came out as 7.4 percent. This would put you in the extra lean category. Right. A lung capacity test. I tried really, really hard to outdo Dave. but failed. <laughs> I can pass out there, exactly. Finally, our skin was analysed by cosmetic surgeon, Mr. Jaya Prakash. Ooh, what a big shiny nose I have. Your skin is better than mine. According to these graphs, they yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> much better. Much better. Yes, how old do you think we are? If you want me to guess, yes, Dave would be 35. Mm -hmm. And how old do you think I am? 50. Ah! <laughs> do you reckon I'm 15, he's 35? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's right, that suits me. Okay. <laughs> I am 51, mm -hmm. and he is 51. We're, we're actually the same age within a month. Really? If a leading consultant thought there was a 15 year age difference between us, that was motivation enough to give calorie restriction a go. Dave offered to show me how to live healthily on two-thirds my normal calories. Oh, Actually, just need to do that by the spoonful, Michael. Okay, sorry. Right. Because you need, to, you need very, precision. Yeah. yeah, because it's very high calorie, you have to do it with a spoon. So. I was expecting something much smaller. I was expecting something about a fifth of this and just a few lettuce leaves. See, if I was normally having lunch, I was going to have salad. I'd probably have about that much salad. <laughs> Calorie restriction isn't simply about eating less. Dave eats salad on an industrial scale to get all the vitamins and minerals he needs. I think my body's saying enough. And my jaw's really getting quite tired now. But it's surprising, <laughs> it's surprising how much chewing you have to get through to get through this lot. Hmm. You are, you are a bit slower. <laughs> you need a bit of practice though. Yeah. What sort of body do you think you currently have? I mean, how old do you think you are, biologically speaking? Over the length of time I'm doing it, I would probably have gained about eight years if it were to be translated exactly into humans, the way it works in animals. Eat less, lose weight, and your metabolism will slow down. Some people think this is how calorie restriction helps prolong life, but a slow metabolic rate has drawbacks. Do you have any problem with sort of feeling cold or...? Um, yeah, I really feel the cold. That's why you got a vest on. 
And long johns, actually. And long johns, right. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen those. Um, and I'll have to wear the long johns in the summer as well because of air conditioning. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is one thing that you have to cope with. Thank you, Dave. That's brilliant. Yeah. See you soon. I can understand why you would want to stay young and gorgeous for as long as you possibly could, but the cost of doing it seems to me enormous. And it, it also, I mean, there's a sort of respect in the amount of willpower involved in doing this sort of thing because, wow, you know, this is a huge, huge commitment. And presumably, nobody really knows whether it's going to work. But I wanted to try it out. For as long as I could bear it, I'd limit myself to just 1,600 calories a day. That's two-thirds my normal intake. Right, so I've got Greek feta and uh, falafel, and that is a grand total of 375 calories. And the bag of salad is about, um, wow, that's not much at all. Uh, that whole bag is about 20 calories. Dave and I were born just weeks apart, but as we grew up and are now growing older, we're clearly not aging in the same way. So far, Dave had beaten me in all the tests. But deep down, were we really aging that differently? I wanted to compare our biological age at the cellular level. We both sent blood samples to Bart's and the London School of Medicine. One way of discovering just how rapidly we were both aging is by comparing our telomeres. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Michael. Hello. Nice to meet you. Good. Good. Welcome. Dr. Come Tom Villamy was going to do his best to explain them. So, telomeres, they're the ends of the chromosome. Now, the chromosome is where the DNA in your cell is packaged. Okay. It's been likened to this uh, shoelace. So, if you think of this as a great long string of DNA here now, mm -hmm. what it has on the end of it is a protective cap. Right. And we all know these. And we all know that they can, they can fray on you. And then you, after that, your, your shoelace is no good. So, the telomeres... Oh, that's the telomere of these structures. Okay, and strong. what happens to them as you get older? Well, as, each, as you get older, as each cell divides, these telomeres shorten. To so that. you just lose a bit each time. So what happens when you get to the end? You get to a critically short point here now, yep. and the cell says, right, stop dividing. Mm. So that's death S of cell? So, senescence of the cell. When you age, your telomeres tend to shorten. So older people clearly have shorter telomeres than younger people. Right. Okay, I can see my shoes are, <laughs> my shoes are definitely <laughs> aging. Lead on. Tom had used the blood samples Dave and I had sent ahead to measure our telomeres. He'd analysed the telomere length in our white blood cells. I was desperate to know what he'd found. Oh, something's happening. Yeah, something's happening. Okay. See this little bit of, sort of blackness? Yeah, yeah. These are telomeres. Okay. Appearing. Okay, and they do look spookily like the ends of shoelaces, don't they? <laughs> Do you think so? there, yeah. The higher the column, the longer the telomere. Yeah. True, true. That's you. Yeah. That's Dave. Right. Right, that's really, really surprising because mine is actually longer than Dave's. It is. Quite noticeably, actually. Here you are. Ha. And here's your mate Dave. Right. Okay, and I'm longer. He's not going to be pleased. Sees the telomeres. He's not is he be... not? Well, no, I mean, he's not going to be pleased. He's spent 20 years basically starving himself. And yet you're telling me that basically my telomere is longer than his, Your and therefore, at least superficially, that would suggest to me that I'm aging better than he is. We've done nothing right. here about rate yep. of decline of the telomeres. Right, maybe I was just born with longer telomeres. Yep. And so maybe we came back in 10 years, mine ah. will have shrunk down, whereas his will have stayed exactly. up. Despite the complexities around long telomeres, what is clear is there exists a very strong link between short telomeres and age.